In today's video, guys, I will talk about five things that will dramatically increase your views on TikTok. Guys, I can almost guarantee you that this fifth one, which is my huge secret that I will be revealing to you guys, I can guarantee you will put your video on the For You page. But before we get started, guys, I am Pokey Gems. I do art on YouTube, on TikTok, and I also help you guys grow on TikTok. So if you still have not hit subscribe, please do me a favor, guys. It takes one second. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a like. Give me a thumbs up, guys. Smash that like button. That way you guys won't miss out on any future videos. All right, guys. Like I said in the beginning, I'm going to talk today about five secret tips to help you guys break that algorithm code that is so different right now all right guys here's the first tip the first one is look at the beginning of the video that you post guys picture yourself on TikTok. you're scrolling through TikTok. you're scrolling through youtube all right you are looking at a video now be completely honest with me guys what is the first thing that you do after the first five seconds of the video because I know I do this, guys. I am the first one to say that at that point, I decide, am I gonna scroll? Am I gonna like? Am I gonna follow? Am I gonna go into that guy's account and check it out? Guys, the first few seconds of the video is called the hook. Now, there's a reason why it's called the hook, right? Why do you use a hook when you go fishing? You wanna hook that fish, guys. You wanna hook that audience in your video. So whatever you are doing, guys, the beginning is the most important part of the video that's going to decide what are people going to do with that video. Guys, did you notice what I did in this video? Maybe you didn't notice it, but I hooked you in because if you're here right now, that means I hooked you in because I said I'm going to give you five secrets, right? So that's kind of like words to make you think, oh man, I got to stay here because I want to know all five of those secrets. It's the same thing even if you're making a 15 or 20 second TikTok video. Guys, those first few seconds are the most important. So take your time on that, say something, do something, use a sound, use some editing, something that'll keep that person on that video. And that's guys what the algorithm is looking for, whether it is YouTube, whether it is TikTok, whether it is Instagram stories, no matter what it is, the number one thing that the algorithm looks for is is your audience hooked in? Are they staying till the end of the video? Because if everybody is just clicking off of your page, if everybody is watching your videos, even if they're short TikToks, and everybody's just scrolling without doing anything, then clearly that might not be the best content. All right, guys, that was the first thing. Let's go on to number two. Number two is once we dive into the actual video. All right, let's say you're on TikTok, you've recorded a video. Now, instead of posting just a regular generic video, maybe you wanna add some stickers, maybe you wanna add some words. I've seen over and over, guys, I have watched videos that I think are actually very, very good, and unfortunately, I didn't get most of the video because the placement, the physical placement of the sticker or the physical placement of the words was in the wrong spot. Guys, TikTok makes it actually very easy for you guys to know where to place the words. Take a look at this screenshot that just popped up. This is just a little test thing that shows after I've done a video, all right, I'm placing text onto the page. It actually gives me a little outline of where the heart's gonna be, where my information's gonna be, my logo. It actually gives that to you to show you that when you're placing text, don't place the text over that, guys, because in the final uh, draft, the final version of that video, if the text or the sticker or whatever you want to show is over that, it's going to mess it up and you're going to lose it, guys. The other thing that's extremely important is don't forget when you're filming, don't forget you might be filming on a certain device. Let's say you're using an iPhone. Let's say you're using an Android, whatever you're using, guys, keep in mind that your, your videos are going to be watched all over the world on tons of different devices. Some people are going to watch it on a little tiny phone. Some people are going to watch it on a tablet. Some might be even watching it on a full-size computer. 
Guys, there's all kinds of devices, so make sure that whatever text you're placing, try to make it fairly compatible with every person in your audience. Guys, that is extremely important because you don't want to lose it. The other thing that I found, guys, is when you're placing text or things, don't go below the one-fourth, roughly, of the bottom of the page. Now, take a look at this screenshot that just popped up right now. That line, that red line that's right there, you really don't want anything below that. That gives you just a basic idea of where you don't want to go below. So whatever you're doing, guys, see this little text box that just popped up? I basically did a couple scribbles. That basic area, looking at your screen, that is called the safe zone. So if you put all your text, you put all your stickers, animations, whatever you want to add in that safe zone, more than likely whoever watches your video, wherever it be throughout the world, they should be able to see all that kind of thing. All right, guys, number three, the third thing is watch the trends. Guys, there's so many times that I watch videos and I'm looking at things, I'm looking at something that looks pretty cool, but I'm like, wow, that was a trend that was a year ago. That was trending six months ago. Guys, TikTok makes it so unbelievably easy for you guys to find the trends. After you finish recording your video, press the little thing that says hashtag. Guys, it automatically shows you what hashtags are trending. Check out this little screenshot right here, guys. I just did this right now, literally 15 minutes ago on whatever today is, March 24th. This is what was trending right now, these hashtags. And here's the cool thing that you can do, guys. You can go in, you can save your video to draft, you can go to that hashtag, type that hashtag in, and see what videos people have made using that particular hashtag. Clearly, if those videos are on your For You page, if those videos are getting thousands, if not millions of views, guys, there is a reason. And it's the same thing with the songs, guys. You can go in, check out this little screenshot now, you can go in and you type in when you're picking your music, TikTok viral. It will give you a list of what songs are viral that particular day. Now TikTok updates this all the time guys, so stick with the hashtags, stick with the trends because obviously if it's trending, if it's getting millions of views, that's the item that people are looking for that particular day. So guys, that was my third item. All right guys, the fourth item is stick to what you are good at. Guys, you wouldn't believe how many times I've watched videos and seen somebody, let's just say, just for example, they are an amazing chef, right? They're posting videos, they're doing a cooking channel, they're showing you how to do this, how to do that, and then all of a sudden you see them doing a dance to some famous artist. Guys, if you are a chef, you might not be a dancer, and if you're a dancer, you're not a chef. I know that I try to make content to help you guys on TikTok, I try to make art, I try to do funny, artistic things on my channel, I'm not going to all of a sudden post a picture of me dancing. I'm not going to post a video of me trying to do cooking because that's not my thing, guys. Clearly, if you have an audience that is watching your videos, stick to whatever you're good at, guys. There's nothing wrong with getting away from it slightly. So for example, like I just said, let's say you are a cooking channel and all of a sudden you want to do reviews of of various items you can use in the kitchen or you're doing a channel part now where you're in the store and you're teaching people what kind of organic food to buy or whatever it is something that is slightly has to do with your channel right you have an audience for a reason that audience likes you for what you do guys that is exactly what the TikTok algorithm is looking for right now guys keep in mind that the algorithm changed significantly a few months ago because now we have the TikTok Creator Fund, which means that TikTok technically pays creators for their content. I mean, it's not a huge amount, but obviously they pay creators for their content. Their shelf, so to speak, is a little bit higher now. They're looking for, guys, that great content. They're not looking for quantity. They're looking for quality. And guys, this leads us to number five. This is the most important thing that I will tell you today, guys. Trust me on this little secret. It is quality 
over quantity. Let me give you a perfect example, guys. Let's say hypothetically, you're starting out a TikTok channel. You have 25 minutes, Let's well, let's make it easier. You have a half an hour a day that you have set aside to spend time on making TikTok videos. If you have 25 minutes to 30 minutes a day, you can decide to do one of two things. You can say, hey, I'm gonna make five videos and I'm gonna spend five minutes making each one of those videos. Five times five is 25. So you're gonna put out five videos that took you five minutes each to make. Are those videos gonna be good? Sure, maybe they might be. Take that same 25 minutes, make one video, guys. Make one video that took you 25 minutes to make. Clearly, if you had 25 minutes, I am sure the quality of that video is great. I'm sure the editing is good. I'm sure you've spent time doing things like we talked about in point number one and two, making sure your stickers, making sure your text is in the right spot. I'm sure you spend time going through the trends to find what is viral, find that perfect song. And trust me guys, if you made five videos and let's say they did okay, let's say you got 100 views in the first day, that gives you a total of 500 views. If you made that one very good video, that so to speak viral video they got on the For You page, you might have gotten 5,000 views on the first day. So would you rather have five videos with 500 views or one video with 5,000 views? Guys, trust me, the latter is the better one. That is the secret, guys, that I have for you today. It is quality over quantity. So make one good video rather than five okay videos. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, if these little tips will help you, then that means that I did my job correctly. If this did help you guys, do me a favor. If you can, it takes one second. Please hit that subscribe button, guys. Hit that thumbs up. Turn on your notifications. Don't forget, guys, that besides these little videos helping you guys on TikTok, we go live here on YouTube just about every single day at 5 p.m., we have various creators, various people. We have a ton of fun, guys. We do giveaways. We help each other out, guys. We are a community. At the end of the day, guys, this is all just social media. What are we here for? We are here to have fun. We're here, guys, to spread good vibes only. Guys, that's what this is all about. Let's make this a fun community where we can not only learn something, but we could do it in a fun way. Guys, I will definitely see you guys on that next video. Thank you again.